Hey, welcome back to this video. So in this video, we are going to see how you can perform SSH. Now, SSH is used to do a remote login into another host device or in simple words, another Linux operating system. All right, so let's see how to do it. So in this lesson, we are going to perform three different ways to do SSH. So let's quickly begin with. Now, as you can see on the screen, this is my OS number one or host one, which is the Mac OS. And I also have my second OS, which is the host two, which is the Parrot OS. Perfect. So now I'm going to log in into my Parrot OS, which is this operating system from my host one, which is the Mac operating system. Now, let me quickly see the IP address of this device to home which we are going to log in. And you can see the IP was 192.168.0.69. Now, to log in into the remote device, we are going to use the command which is SSH and the IP address of the remote host, which is the host 2 in our case, which is our Parrot operating system. Now, once we give the IP address, we simply need to hit enter. And you can see it will by default give Rohit at the rate the IP address and it is asking for a password prompt. Now, it is by default trying us to log in into the default user, which is Rohit. Now, once I give the correct password, I will be able to successfully log in into the operating system. As you can see, Rohit at the rate Parrot and I'm successfully logged in into the remote OS and I can control the whole operating system from here. Perfect. Now let me simply exit from here, which is basically log out and the connection gets closed. So we have seen the first way, which was simply SSH and the IP address of the remote host. Now, in case you need to log in through a specific user only. In our first case, it was Rohit. But let's say I want to log in using an admin user. So for that, you can simply specify the name of the user at the rate, the IP address of the remote host. So as you can see, SSH admin at the rate IP address of the remote host where we want to log in. Just specify the password and you will be able to log in into the remote machine. As you can see, I have successfully logged in. Now I have typed the command, which is who am I to confirm. And you can see the user which has successfully logged in is admin. Perfect. So this was our second way to do SSH using a username. Now let us see the third way in which we are going to SSH into the remote host using the default port number. Now, we always know that SSH uses the default port, which is port 22, which you can specify using the flag hyphen P, which stands for the port number. And the port number is 22. Now, I will simply hit enter and it will ask me for a password prompt and I will specify the password. And you can see I have successfully logged in into the machine. Now, let us do one thing. Let's try to change the port number. This is basically a configuration which is done many times by sysadmins wherein they do not want some random persons to try to do a SSH login. That is the main reason they most of the times change the port numbers of these services like SSH. So by default, no other random people are trying to brute force the SSH logins. So let's see how to change the port number. It is through the SSH configuration file. So nano slash etc slash SSH slash SSHD config. And here you can see I have modified the port number and I have written it as port 69. And I'm just going to save the file. Now remember, once you have modified the configuration file, you need to restart the SSH service for which the command is surface SSH restart. Once we do that, our SSH changes gets replicated into the system. Now let's quickly see 
the status of the service if it is running fine and our changes have been modified or reflected or no. So let us just confirm that the SSH server has started on port 69 or no or is it still running on 22. So just hit status and you can see it is active running and the new port number is 69 as we can see over here. Perfect. Now our SSH server has configured correctly on our new port. So now let us try to log in again. But this time when we try to log in into the port 22, you can see we get an error which says connection refused because we know that SSH is not running on the default port which is 22 now. Thus it says connection refuse. The port is not accepting any connections. And we know that we have just now modified the port number and the new port number is 69. So let us try to connect onto our new port that is 69 and hit enter. And you can see it immediately gave a prompt to give the password. When the user gives the right password, he is able to successfully log in. And you can see who am I says the user which is currently logged in is admin. So I hope you guys understood how you can do SSH to the host. You can do SSH using the second method that was using the name of the host. And the third way was using the port number in case the SSH service is not running on the default port. I hope you guys understood. Thank you.